I'd like to share with you today some tips I've found to be extremely helpful over the past year in making time for creating art every day. Um, a lot of times when people find out that I am the mother of three young children, they are surprised that I am able to find time for painting. And I'm also finding that there are a lot of people who have been really passionate about painting, um, but they get married, they have kids, they have a full-time job, um, whatever it is, they end up waiting, putting their art on hold. They wait until their children leave the home, or they wait until they retire from their full-time job before they um, start painting again, before they pursue that passion that they have. And I wanted to share some tips that I've found to make it um, possible to paint every day and to pursue that passion that I have, and I hope it can be helpful for you. Um, one of the main um, ideas from this last year that has really helped me is waking up early. And I don't know about you, but for me it's something that I've always struggled with. I would do really good for a week waking up early and then I'd kind of peter off and again I'd get discouraged and I kept felt, felt like I was setting that goal and I continued to fail and set it again and it was really discouraging that cycle. And so when I came across this book, um, The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod, um, I found it to be extremely helpful. Um, in his book he shares some tips for um, establishing the habit of waking up, uh, waking up early every morning. And some of the tips are things that maybe you've heard before, simple things like setting the alarm clock on the other side of the room, or having a glass of water next to your alarm clock that you drink as soon as you wake up so you wake up faster and it makes it easier, or setting out your clothes so they're ready in the morning. Those are some of the tips he gives in the book that are helpful. Um, but I think the main thing in this book that I think really made a difference for me is um, he talks about doing things every morning that help you to be the kind of person you need to be in order to sustain the effort it takes to reach your goals to get up every morning. Um, and some of those things are things like visualization, affirmations, um, journaling, um, meditating. Those are just some of the things that you do each morning that help you to be that kind of person you need to be um, to sustain the effort to reach your goals. Um, so that's the big main idea. So waking up early, and I highly recommend reading this book and implementing some of the tips that he gives um, for making that a daily habit in your life. Waking up early. Um, the next thing is um, I saw a direct correlation between waking up early and days that I was able to paint two hours a day. That's my goal. And every time I did, I put a big X on that day. And this is a, a chart that shows every day of the year. So I have some accountability and I can see my progress. And I put a highlight for every time I finish a painting. Um, but um, really this is how you get better as an artist. Um, the greats aren't great because they were born that way. The greats are great because they paint a lot. And, <clears throat> and I know that anyone can be an artist. Anyone can get better at painting. Really it comes down to, it comes down to the time that you put into it. There was a study done that um, showed that to become a professional in any field, um, they had to, it showed they put 10,000 hours of work or effort into that field before they were considered a professional. So that's the same thing with an artist. You can definitely tell how much someone has painted or drawn. Um, it shows in their work, and the more that you do it, the better you get. And so those are the two main ideas, waking up early and um, an accountability chart that shows every day of the year where you keep track of your progress and make and not breaking the chain. And I'm not perfect. I mean, obviously there's holes in this chain. It's just um, keep working at it and don't give up. And I promise that you'll see results in your artwork as well. And um, I hope you found these tips to be helpful. Um, if you have any other um, ideas of ways you can um, find time to make art, um, go ahead and share them in the comments. Um, you can check out my Facebook page, Brittany Sears uh, Fine Art. And um, yeah, thanks again for watching. Let me know if you have other ideas that you'd like to share.